Greetings. I'm Daniel Owney, and it's my privilege to serve as Director of Music here at Christ Lutheran Church in the Inner Harbor neighborhood in Baltimore, where I play this beautiful Andover organ of 82 ranks. I am also fortunate to serve as the coordinator of organ studies just up the road at the Peabody Conservatory. In this video, we are studying the sweet and beautiful chorale, Liebster Jesu, wir sind hier. Dearest Jesus, we are here. Bach set this chorale twice in the Orgelbuchlein, and it is one of the last chorales that he entered in the manuscript. This setting, BWV 634, was composed first, and then a revised version was entered, which is BWV 633. Bach uses the compositional technique of canon for the setting of this chorale. With the soprano being in canon, it creates a rich five-part texture as it flows above the alto, tenor, and bass lines. While a canon can occasionally alter the notes in some settings, Bach keeps this chorale melody in strict canon, which creates heightened harmonic tension at certain moments. In this piece, we see one of the very few moments in which Bach specifies the use of different manuals. You will want a gentle but still characteristic Baroque solo sound for the chorale. A softer reed, like a vox humana, or another type of regal could work. You might consider a smaller scaled principal. I'll be using the softer cornet located in the swell division. Just be sure that the overall effect is gentle. As you begin learning this setting, practice just the right hand by itself. To help bring out the canon and the start of each phrase, think of releasing the last note of the chorale phrase slightly early so that you will actually have two different timed releases within a beat in your right hand. This will help to highlight the beginning of each phrase and create independence between the two canonic voices. Best wishes as you work on this beautiful gem. <laughs> 